we're working to figure out what sparked this fire near Wellington. We brought this to you as breaking news yesterday at 5. The good news, it's now 100% contained. It scorched about 2,000 acres. The bad news, we're seeing dry and gusty conditions keeping that fire danger high. Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo has our look at the critical fire weather conditions we're facing. Stepping outside, it doesn't quite feel like the first weekend of March, a month known to be the snowiest for us in the metro area. This year it may not come to fruition though because it looks like there's more dry weather coming for the next couple weeks. Instead, the National Weather Service is warning us about high fire danger, a threat expecting to last through Monday. So we need to be really careful about cigarette butts, no open burning by any means. Let's keep it keep it safe as we can. Now, this is just one example of some of those dry conditions that we're talking about, and you can see that it wraps up the entire side of that mountain right there. Now, it's these dry conditions plus a small spark paired with that gusty wind that can create a fast moving fire. Cigarette butts, sparks from chains on trailers. The men and women fighting those fires constantly on alert with Colorado's changing conditions. Some of those are certainly human caused and anything that citizens can do to um, help prevent is going to save us all a, a lot in the end. Just yesterday, we saw several agencies battling a 2000 acre fire burning north of Wellington. That cattleman fire driven by the wind. It can move the fire much quicker. It can increase the intensity. It can take the fire in directions that, you know, topographically it wouldn't normally travel or push fire to places that we wouldn't usually expect it to go. The National Weather Service warning even stronger winds are expected Monday. Reporting in Boulder, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, Denver 7.